Hey y'all, it's Bridget with Paper Made Me Do It. I wanted to share a stationary unboxing with y'all today. Uh, this is from the Tabio shop in Malaysia. And you can see they wrote a little handwritten thank you, Bridget, on the label here. I would love to know what pen that was written in because the tip is so very fine. That had to have been an extra, extra fine something. <laughs> Always notice things like that. But um, they are in Malaysia. This is probably my third or fourth time ordering from this website. I've never had any problems. They have a beautiful selection of not only stationary items, but also some stationary storage solutions. The very first time I ordered from them a few years ago, I ordered one or maybe even two of my wooden classic -y, um, desk boxes when they were sold out in the States. And I placed this order on September 22nd of 2020 and received it on October 1st. And I'm in the southern part of the U.S. So I felt like that was a, a reasonable uh, um, amount of time for shipping, especially considering some of the delays that we're seeing with international shipping right now because of COVID. So they included this Traveler's Times insert and i've seen these before but i've never actually had one in my possession so i'll be happy to have this to flip through kind of like a little newspaper almost but oh my goodness look at those beautiful photos of travelers notebooks in use that one has a sketch on it so very nice Some bubble wrap in here. Move this box out of the way. So this is predominantly Traveler's Company items that I chose for this order. So I'll just start from the top and work down and we'll do this little box last. I got a passport size diary for 2021. This is a monthly. It is um, pre-printed with the 2021 dates. Has 2021 and 2022 year at a glance. These little kind of index calendars. And this is nice. They have each, I guess the beginning of each week marked with the number of the week as it falls in the year starting with week one in January, going through week 52 in December. And then you go into the monthly layout. This is on that nice kind of off-white Traveler's Company paper. And it starts in December of 2020, goes all the way through January of 2022. And then after that, you've got some maps, some information, a travel plan, and just a few, one, two, three, four, four um, double-sided blank pages in the back, an extra blank page, and then your information page on the back. This is a little sticker set. It says two sheets. And I'm not sure how to pronounce this company name, but I've been noticing them a lot lately if you're into stickers. They have a lot of offerings that are um, like smaller size um, stickers. And I know they also do the little stickers that are quite popular now in planning and journaling that are just like the little washi circles, maybe just a five millimeter little washi circle. But these are, I believe they were called labels. Yes, label stickers. So two sheets of those and they are very thin. They don't feel like, they feel a little thicker than washi 
but they're still quite thin and you can see if I overlay them that you can see through them just a hair. So two sheets of label stickers. And these are some tiny little stickers, cute stickers. I don't know the company name because, well, here it is, it's Midori. So these um, are Midori stickers, 158 pieces, but they have little ribbons and trophies and stars. And so I recently started homeschooling one of my sons and I had him in mind when I saw this because as I go through each week and grade his unit tests, I thought it would be fun <laughs> to use these like a little reward sticker on some of his assignments. So that's what I had in mind for those. This is another Traveler's Company item. It is their version of a pencil board. So they normally come out with a new design each year for these pencil boards as well as the folders. You can see 2021 um, embossed here in gold foil. There is quite a bit of gold foil on here and then you get the um, grid on the back and what's nice about these is because the paper is slightly see-through you can use them not only as a firm surface but if you put them behind a blank page it gives you a visual guide if you were going to write long text you could you know use it as a straight line guide in the background so love that and this is the passport size clear folder for 2021 so it is similar if you're familiar with the hobonichi folder same concept where it's basically folded over onto the spine and then it's sealed at the bottom it's open on the top and the right so it's like a little slip folder you could put stencils in here, cards, business cards, even, I guess, credit cards if you wanted to. Or um, It's also great for tossing in little um, bits of ephemera, stickers, a lot of possibilities. But there's even some gold foil on it as well. I apologize for the glare. I've got some light shining down. Now, this is the standard size version of the 2021 pencil board. So it has a lot of gold foil on it and there should be 2021 somewhere on it, I would think. Oh, right here, the bottom of the book, it says 2021 as well. And it also has that same nice grid on the back that you can use behind a page for a guideline it also has um, ruler along one side now this is not in inches it is in um, metric not standard so these measurements are centimeters and it goes up to 20 centimeters on the ruler Okay, and I got two sets of the stickers, thinking that would maybe make me less likely to feel like I need to hoard them. <laughs> maybe that'll help me break the ice and actually use them, knowing that I have two sets because they are so beautiful. But they come with this full sheet of beautiful designs that have uh, gold foil on them and then you get this sheet of i guess you could call these index stickers and so they're perforated in the center where you would double them and fold them over the side of the edge of a page you've got the months of the year um, actually two of them so you get a large size and a small size so i guess theoretically you could use these for like standard and passport and then there's a few extras that say travel memo list important and information and they give you one blank one and these are kind of a 
plasticky coating, so they, they're not paper, they're going to be sturdy and last, but to write on that plasticky coating, you would probably need to use like a ballpoint pen or some type of permanent porous point pen, fine liner. In other words, I don't think a gel pen would work well on that. It would probably not dry well and smear. And you get a full sheet of these small little planner type icons, meals, phone, airplane, suitcase, pencil, and you get a sheet of these little circular markers. And then these three all have gold foil. These are like the little pockets. So they, I don't know if they'll pick up on camera, but there's a little slit that runs across the top that you can poke out. So when you stick this on an interior cover or even on a page, when you pull that slit out, it will create a pocket where you can tuck cards or ephemera behind that section. And then these are not peel stickers. This is like the rub off transfer. Um, I, I think sometimes they're called print on stickers. But you get a couple different sizes of alphabet and numbers of those. So those are really nice. Of course, that first sheet is always the draw for me. I mean, they would be beautiful in any layout, but I really like to use these when collaging or decorating the cover of an insert. So I got two sets of those. And then I'll save this for last because this was something uh, not Traveler's Company. So these last two items are the last two Traveler's Notebook items for 2021. This is the standard size clear folder. So it's that same design. Traveler's Notebook branding, Traveler's Company Japan on the back. You've got some gold foil on the back. Keep your books and your notebook close by and embark on wonderful journeys in your mind. And then you get gold foil on the front as well. That's a really cute design. Illustrated TN with a little Traveler's Company fountain pen and gold foil. And then the last insert that I chose is another pre-printed for 2021 for the standard size. And this is the monthly as well. So it's actually the same cover color, that orange. And it has a similar design, year at a glance index then you go right into the monthlies it also starts december 2020 each month is a two-page spread and then you get the um, other month at a glance down the right column you have a note section across the bottom and you go into the maps the information pages travel plan same setup a few blank pages at the end and then your information page and then this item is a to be a shop um, item. Dear Paper Lovers, a compilation of paper and cards from classic -y, Tosa Washi products, Mizushima, Yuruliku. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these companies. It says to place in your into your traveler's notebook or bring it on the go for crafting pleasures. So, oh, I can tell how cute they use the little uh, Kokio stapleless stapler, whatever you want to call that, where it's just pressed into itself across the top. I actually have one of those on order right now and can't wait for it to come in. But I'm just going to slide this out. And so this is an item that they curate and it has a little cute clip holding it all together with um, some decorative yarn, textured yarn. And this little overlay is washi paper. It has some images on it. 
wildlife and um, kind of oriental themed. And then we've got a large paper label, large paper grid. This is a um, thicker like card stock. Folded label. These are very thin. I don't know if these could even be called, if they're washi paper, they're very thin. They look kind of coated on one side, matte on the other. So I don't know if this would be considered more like a washi paper or a tracing paper, but that would be really pretty for layering. And then this is a little planning card. Another little planning card with grid on one side. A couple just strips of random washi paper. I believe these are classic -y. I've, I know I have a little booklet of these where you can tear them out, the little paper labels. So there's a couple sheets of them and they're in the dark brown ink. Um, this is not a fold over. This is a single cardstock label. This is one of those vintage looking red labels and it looks like maybe not. I was thinking it may be adhesive, but I don't think it is. I think you would have to, I don't know if it, if you could wet it and it's gummy or if you would just have to glue that down. A little thin sheet of blue. Oh, these are cute. They're like a mini version of those labels. I've not seen any that small before. Another one of those blue vintage inspired cardstock labels. This is a little bit thicker and I would call this washi paper because it does have that texture. Smoother on one side. Kind of a mint green, a little bit thinner, but still feels like washi paper. A little natural, and you can see little flecks, neutral colors in that. A little paper receipt. And then these are like little cards with images printed on them and a few little other slips of paper. So, and this is um, perforated. So, cute little paper stash for journaling. And then the last item is a brass date code stamp. And we have tobeoshop.com printed on that. Comes with a little tool and how cute. Okay, so it's just packaged with a little crinkly paper, nice heavy weight, but look at that. This is um, very heavy into that vintage vibe, but it is a brass date stamp. And so you've just got all your random or not random, but you know, zero through nine, all your numbers in brass. So this will literally last forever. It's not uh, rubber, so these are not going to deteriorate and it, it's not self inking, so you don't have to worry about that. You just use it on any stamp pad. And then I'm not sure, I guess this is what you would use to rotate the numbers. I don't know. I may have to do a little research. It didn't come with any type of instruction, so I'll have to play around and <laughs> figure out how to actually do the adjusting of the dates, but you can see that they're quite small, and the font even almost looks kind of vintage, so this will be fun to play with. I'll just have to figure out how to do the actual adjustment. So that is all for this Tobio shop. If I'm even pronouncing that right, order. But their website is tobeoshop.com, so I will leave a link to that. 
in the uh, description below if you'd like to check them out. And as I mentioned already, um, this is not my first time to order from them and I've never had any problems whatsoever. They have um, really nice selection if you're into this type of journaling. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye y'all.